Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for watching. And today I wanted to kind of go through some of these apps that are currently not working and some that are. So let's just get into it. And the firmware that I'm currently on is 3.60 Hinkaku Enzo Custom Permanent Firmware. And I did test these apps on 3.73 H Encore 2 before I downgraded and I was getting the same results. So uh, the first app we're going to look at here is YouTube and I'm always almost on YouTube and unfortunately they cut the support of the YouTube app on the PS Vita and every time you start it up you will get this message. That is a bummer. So uh, there is a replacement app sort of that kind of works it's called Tube Vita. And I'll leave that link in the description down below for you so you can go install the VPK, the VPK, and check it out for yourself. And for the most part, you can look at the information of the video. You can check out uh, different, different comments, uh, comment down below, sign in. You can like, dislike comments and stuff like that and I was just testing this app and it wasn't working and before I recorded this video it was just working on one video though it was just running one crazy video it's called like eagles or something uh, eagle hunt so let me type that in and this app is a little buggy so you're just gonna have to work with it a little bit let's see if I can type something in here yeah, it won't. Let's see. There it is. Eagle Hunt. There was one video that was working, and this guy was like attacking a wolf or something. There it is. Oh, okay, so seven world's largest eagle attack. Eagles versus bears versus. Okay, whatever. Let's hit that play button. And it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. And wow, it's working. Look at that. That's the first time I've ever seen a YouTube video work on my video. Video, <laughs> my Vita. That is something. Look at that. Now let's get out of here before I get copyrighted. Uh, now, if I click on another video, let's check out this one the best of lion fights. Man, some of these animal videos are crazy let's check out this one yeah so that's the error i keep getting every time i try to look at something i want to watch not some freaking animals killing each other um but yeah you're just gonna have to be going through each video to see if it even works optimized for the ps vita i don't know maybe the format is a lot smaller than or the the, uh, the resolution is not that crazy but looking at this video here look at this it's like crystal clear it's running just fine so tube Vita does work most of the time half of the time not all the time a little bit gotta get lucky right <laughs> uh, okay so that's pretty much it for this app there is the new iPhone SE Apple. Let's check that out, see if it works. Is it really gonna work? Wow, that's awesome. There's the new iPhone, guys. Perfect. So I will give this app a thumbs up. Works, but not all the time. <laughs> Moving on to the Weather Nation. And this is an app you can get free from the PSN uh, store, from the PlayStation Network store. And YouTube, Weather Nation, Netflix, Twitch, Crunchyroll, you can get all this stuff for free on the PlayStation Network. But Weather Nation no longer works, it's not supported, it just keeps crashing. But there is a replacement, and this one is called Vita Forecast, and I'll leave a link for this one down below as well. And this is a homebrew app and it's very basic all you have to do is just type in your zip code right 
let's type in zip code and it will show you what's going on right the temperature we got clear skies humidity cloudiness wind atmospheric atmospheric pressure whatever that means um, but if you try to press any other buttons nothing really happens if you press square this will take you back to enter zip and county ID but if you back out it crashes but if you go back in it will work again it's kinda weird but it works moving on to uh, Crunchyroll now I was so excited for this one because I, I love watching anime and I've been dying to get back into it but I've been so busy with the YouTube playing online with my brothers and just so many different projects that I got going on right now and I just don't have time to watch anime and the original Crunchyroll app from the PlayStation Network Store no longer supports I, I don't know it just doesn't work you have to like log in but I'm I am logged in and it keeps giving me an error and then there was a crunchy roll uh, Hinkaku uh, patch uh, let me take a look here what's called it's called the premium modded crunchy roll app for the PS Vita and what it does it uh, bypasses the PSN uh, login and you can start watching your stuff but this was updated two years ago and people are still having issues it says here unable to connect crunchyroll please check your network connection settings and relaunch the app so if you guys can help me out on what's going on here please let me know in the comment section down below but for the most part this is not working and that's unfortunate moving on to twitch here and twitch is no longer working as you can see there and a lot of people have been having this same issue so you just start it up and we keep getting that error you can't even go into the main uh, menu or whatever and finally we have Netflix now Netflix does work a hundred percent now the worst part about this app is the loading times it takes forever to go into the main menu and then forever to log in and then forever to load up the video or the movie that you're trying to watch and it just takes a long time I think I waited about five to seven minutes for it to load the movie or something like that I guess because it's like buffering it's getting all that uh, all that data it's it's buffering the video it's getting you all that extra time that way when you're watching it it's still gathering the, you know that little loading bar when you watch a video or a YouTube video I think that's what it's doing uh, so yeah it just takes a while we're just gonna sit here and wait for it and there we go cool so we're logged in and it does have the touchscreen capabilities you see the arrows on each side of the screen and it's just one big button you can see there and if I hold it it will just scroll down I think nope I guess you just have to press it every single time but it works so if you have a Netflix account definitely get it on your Vita if you want to watch stuff on here it has a very good screen I love the uh, OLED display here on the PS Vita 1000 and it looks great I know a lot of people are like oh on reddit they're like oh why don't you just use your phone it's like no man I got a Vita I want to use my Vita I'm an enthusiast I, I'm a collector I am a PS Vita enthusiast I love this thing I want to use it this is one way to use it watching movies and it's a great screen you know not a lot of people will have like that beefy LCD or LED screen on their phone some people are rocking flip phones some people are rocking old old stuff and they don't have you know a nice screen like the PS Vita does so I'm not gonna play a movie because I don't want to copyright but it does work it works a hundred percent I was testing it out for 20 minutes and oh look at that the players club I'm gonna have to check that out after this video and see what that's about 
<laughs> so that is that is basically it for this video guys I just wanted to share with you uh, these apps and that's it so thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it any questions comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future thank you so much for watching take care and I'll see you on the next one